Welcome back, everyone. We're having such a fun time. His house is gorgeous. I mean, would you look at these views? Everything's coming along. We got some beautiful char shishitos. Look at that. Amazing looking. And the eggplant is now fully cooked, getting some beautiful color. Oh, man. I'm excited. All right, let's go finish this. Mario's actually kind of hungry as well, so I'm going to start his salad and then also finish Courtney's at the same time. Make sure you caramelize these. Then we're gonna add our shishito peppers. While I'm doing this, we're getting a good caramelization. I'm gonna finish Courtney's dish. So we're gonna grab this sumac yogurt. It is, it's pretty simple. It's just yogurt, sumac, lemon juice, and salt, but it's very tasty. And you're just gonna smear that on your plate like so. Then I'm gonna start plating, but what I did was add lemon juice and I re-seasoned this, just to brighten it up right before we plate. And I'm gonna lay a bed of shishitos down first and then I'm gonna cut the uh, eggplant in half to make half moon shapes and kind of lay it. Come get a better look at it. All right, so kind of like lattice it and got some height on it. Now I'm gonna add the sumac onions to it. We've made these in course one actually, so if you're interested, check it out. I can smell the shishitos kind of getting some caramelization, so I wanna check them out. They're okay, we're gonna keep cooking. Coming back real quick, we're just gonna finish this up. We're gonna add some herbs to it. It's gonna add some freshness. So cool thing about herbs is it kind of cleans your palate every time you chew into an herb. So when you bite back into the eggplant, it tastes different almost, and it really is excellent. So it's just got mint, dill, fresh lemon juice, and olive oil, and that is a beautiful, beautiful dish right there. I think she's gonna love it. Courtney, where you at? So this is gonna be charred eggplant shishitos with uh, mint, a little bit of dill, zatar, sumac yogurt. Zatar, what is zatar? Zatar is, so it's like oregano, uh, sesame seed. So it's a spice. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's Mediterranean spice. Uh, there's a bunch of different things going on in there. Sounds like that machine in Big. Where he goes, the zatar, where he goes. You know what I'm talking about? Zoltar. Zoltar. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, anyways, uh, this one's really good. Awesome. I can't Wait. Definitely. Should I try you it? You want to try it? Yeah, definitely. Dig in. Please. There's no GHB in here. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <You got it. laughs> Sorry. So one margarita does too. One margarita. <laughs> oh wow. Is sumac, the... sumac yogurt. What is that? Sumac yogurt. So it's sumac, which is it's actual flour, uh, and then yogurt and lemon juice. Oh my god, it's so good. Four ingredients. That's all this is? Four ingredients? Well, the yogurt is, yeah. Oh. Yeah, I mean, and then the eggplant's marinated with uh, zatar itself, and then lemon juice, salt. So how long does this take to make? I mean, honestly, when we were heating up the pizza, I grilled this, and then it's been, it's been chilling. But well, like for somebody like me who um, has a cookbook, that I, I think is you for can make three this. ingredients because that's about the extent of my um, cooking. I could do this. 100. I think you could do this probably in 30 minutes. You'd be surprised how easy it is. Because with kids, right? So right. Yo, dude, I have a question for you. Yeah, what's up? Um, you have a lot of ingredients that are in other dishes too. Would it be ideal to prep this ahead of time? Well, yeah. So, for instance, the yogurt, you can make a bigger batch of it, and you could have different, you know, a couple different dishes throughout the week. Mm. So, so a lot of things for our courses is utilizing, you know, ingredients in different dishes, so you can, you know, make something and then use it the next day as well. For different dishes. I noticed too, you like to garnish. Um, your stuff with the yogurt or stuff underneath. Right. And that just is pretty. Right. And it's, I mean, it's something I've learned throughout like all my years of cooking restaurants, but you also could, if you wanted to, build it on top and then dollop like three dollops and let that run down as well. So there's different techniques of plating. It's just, this is the most simplest for, you know, an amateur home chef, like home cook to execute. So. I thought you could hold the whole thing. So good. <laughs> I didn't choose you in the big work. All right, so let's finish Mario's salad. We're just gonna char up this just a little bit. I just want it wilted. I don't want it, you know, mushy. So we're just gonna cook it just a little bit, then we'll add it to the bowl. We're gonna add the corn, get some good caramelization on it. Just, you know, it's looking really good. Now we're gonna mix this and we're gonna add the vinaigrette. 
vinaigrette is a cilantro jalapeno vinaigrette. This is also in course two. So it's gonna be spicy, acidic, you know, well-rounded. It's gonna make this kind of amazing. It's it's such such a simple dish to make. Four ingredients, charred up, a vinaigrette, done. You know, season with a little bit of salt. When you're plating it, you know, kind of just, you kind of want to get some space on it, a little bit of height, just so it shines. You get all these different colors. You got green, purple, yellow. It just looks so awesome. It's so good. Like anyone can make this dish and it's so yummy. So now that we're finishing up, we just gotta do the finishing touches. The finishing touches is this pecorino cheese. Adds like a funkiness to this. Pecorino is very sharp and adds a little bit of funk. It's not like a Parmesan cheese where it's like, you know, just salty. It has a whole bunch of different flavor to it. Then you just finish it with a nice citrus. Let's see what Mario thinks. So this is a charred corn, uh, shishito, red, uh, mushrooms, and then uh, shishima. You know, I had a lot to drink today. It's been a long day. Kind of losing my words right now, but you know what it is. It's shishito pepper. Is that like cotija cheese? Uh, so this is pecorino. So it's gonna, it's a little bit more like funkier. Yeah. And it's gonna add a nice funk with the mushrooms itself. Yeah. Dude, calm down. Is it good? I mean, what do you think? Four ingredients that you saute, and then you add a vinaigrette to it, and it's done. It's that easy, guys. Everyone loves it. Four ingredients. It's gonna blow everyone away. You're gonna love it. Mario, you want a Paloma? So I have this awesome twist on it. I make a rosemary salt, you know, fresh squeezed grapefruit juice, simple syrup, pretty simple. I mean, Paloma's, you know, like four ingredients. I think it's grapefruit, tequila, lime, and simple. That's all it is, four ingredients and amazing. Plus Casa Mexico, you can't go wrong with this. It is so fire. All right, so now that I have everything in, I'm just gonna give it a quick shake. We're gonna strain this out. Actually, I'm gonna taste it first. Dude, that's, that's fire. It's fresh. It's awesome. So good. All right, so we're gonna strain this right over into our glass. A little fancy rosemary sprig. Kind of make it pop and shine. I think Mario's gonna love it. Let's see what he thinks. Just a little splash of club soda. By the way, this is the best brand. You gotta get it. Tapo Chico. All right, let's see what's up. Hey Mario, are you ready? Hey, hey Mario. Okay. Oh, this is dope. <laughs> this looks pretty. Wait, I gotta take a. I gotta take a. Let me take a little. There you go. A little pick right here. Hold on. Take it easy. Okay. Sure. Could be mint. Like mint. Okay. Okay. Good. Salute. I like this. It's a good paloma with real grapefruit juice. You know what's up? It's a real paloma. Yeah. I like the Christmas tree in there. Christmas. <laughs> Tight. Rosemary salt. Tight. Thank you. Oh, this is good. This is fresh. Let's start prepping for dinner. We got this awesome, awesome dish. I'm gonna show you guys one of my favorites. It's thyme rosemary. Just gonna chop that up. A little bit of garlic. Some induya. If you don't know what induya is, induya is a spreadable sausage. It's from Italy. It's got a whole bunch of different like charcuteries and then it's cured and aged. And if you haven't had it, it's life changing. You have to try this. Gonna need to pick it up at more of a fancier store, not at your regular grocery store, but it's worth it. Then I got these amazing, amazing prawns from the awesome fish market we went to. What we have here is head-on jumbo shrimp. They're from Australia. They're so tasty. They smell amazing. They look so fresh. It's such an easy dish to make. You're gonna see. Hold up. It looks like the kids wanna prank their dad. I'm so down with it. You guys better come back and show me. All right, so we're gonna continue cooking. So what you're gonna do is, is kind of set your mise en place up, get your pan hot, add avocado oil. It's got a high smoke point, so it won't burn. Bring everything over. Wait a second. They got them. They got them. So good. You gotta check this out. I'm having such a good time today. This is so fun. And back to it. Let's cook. Come on. So we're gonna add our shallots, our garlic, our herbs. 
and then we're gonna add our andouille. I'm gonna cook this and we're gonna sweat all the fat out. It's gonna get very greasy and amazing. This is gonna be the binder for our sauce. Now that's coming together, we're gonna add our prawns. We're gonna add about four or five prawns here. And we're gonna add five. But you don't wanna overcrowd. If you overcrowd, you're gonna have inconsistent cooking, which means some prawns might overcook and the others will undercook. And you don't wanna do that. So once we get a good caramelization on one side, we're gonna flip, you're gonna add that wine, then we're gonna continue to cook down. You do not want to overcook though, so make sure you're keeping an eye out on these. Because once they're, once they're about done, we're going to add them and we're going to continue to reduce down. They're looking pretty good right about now. Alright, now that we're pretty much perfect, we don't want to overcook these because they are going to continue to cook as they sit in the bowl. But what we're going to do is we're going to pull these out and start mounting and getting real height on the dish. We're gonna set that aside and we're gonna continue to reduce this down. Now it's time to season this, add starting to reduce. So we're gonna add salt, we're gonna start melting butter into this sauce. And then right before we finish, we're gonna add some lemon juice. It's really gonna brighten it up and really make it pop. Make sure you remove from the heat so it doesn't break this butter as it's mounting into the sauce. So it's looking pretty good right now. So give it a quick taste. Just want to make sure it's got the right amount of acidity and the right amount of salt. If it tastes perfect to you, awesome. Let's go ahead and give it a stir and pour it right over those prawns. Definitely want to make sure that everything goes over the top so it coats it as it goes down. It should be vibrant, beautiful, red. Oh man, that looks so good. So I would normally serve this with toasted bread, but I mean, these guys have ate so much food. So I really just wanted them to taste the prawn so they can get a kind of a good experience. So I just add a breadcrumb for a little bit of crunch. So it's looking pretty good. I mean, I would normally add like some parsley or, you know, a little bit of green pop on it, but didn't really have it, but it's okay. Mario, tell me what you think. So oh, wow. Wow, wait a minute. Hold on, let me get this. I gotta get a picture of this. Of course, he's always gotta take his food selfies. It's totally cool. I love it. You know, I, I don't normally eat the head. You don't have to. But, trust me, dude. Um, is there, hey, uh, Brandon, can you give me some bread right there? Yeah. So I wanna get in, I wanna get down on this juice right here. All right, I guess I was wrong. He. Definitely wanted bread, it's all good. Normally would have toasted this and would have been crispy and crunchy when he's biting into this, but it's really delicious sauce, so it doesn't matter. So you go like, this, this is what's up right here. This is what's up. It's a, uh, it's a do ya, man. It's my favorite thing in the freaking world, dude. Oh, you got down right here. Right? It's, this, oh. this dish right here, dude, I'm telling dude. you. Dude, I'm telling you. This one you got down. All of them you got down. Really good, very impressive. Thank you. The man right here. I don't care what his brother says about it. I think he's done. <laughs> this is great, I loved everything, honestly. Thank you. So I would, I would tell you, but like for real, it was really, it was great. Thank you. Yeah, I can the whole thing. <laughs> you ate the whole thing. Oh, I ate the whole head out. And everyone got down on this and they loved it. All right, so we're gonna do a nightcap real quick. One of my favorite drinks is a penicillin, which is a scotch drink with honey ginger and lemon juice. So I wanted to do it with tequila and mezcal. Mezcal is a smoky version of tequila, right? So what they do is they take the agave, they smoke it beforehand, and then they turn it into alcohol. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take lemon, your honey ginger syrup, you're gonna add your tequila, your mezcal, you're gonna shake it up. It's pretty, like, it's simple ingredients. Jeff, are you eating a shrimp pizza? Anyways, there's not a lot going on here, but it's full of flavor and the smokiness is so nice just to finish the drink with. All right, so now that everything's added to the shaker, we're gonna give it a good shake. You really wanna add frothiness to this one, so you wanna shake it pretty good. Always taste it. I mean, bartenders use a straw, but I don't have one of those right now, so. It needed a little bit more ginger. It's gonna taste you know, super, it's gonna be more of a stronger drink. This is something that if you like scotch, if you like drinking straight bourbon, this is it. And you just finish a little bit of bitters on top. That's all it needs. I'm not doing fancy garnishes on this. You could, you could do dried lemon wheel if you want or whatever. I didn't want to, but that is it. It's delicious. All right, Mario, we got this last cocktail for oh, you. The last one, I'm double fisting. This is 
a Mexican penicillin. It's a little play on a scotch drink. What's okay. up, dude? It's been a pleasure today, man. Thank you so much yeah. for everything. Honestly, everything was fantastic. Awesome. Really appreciate it. Thank you very much. We're gonna have to have you back. That's Salud. Salud, Nico. Here, get you your water. Right now. This is just water. Salud. Mm. Dude, are you on the Stay by the Bell reboot? <laughs>